I'm in a downgrade guide. There's a card at the right top and a link in the description if you need that. You'll also want to use 1070 to follow this video 100%. Just a quick note that if you're going to follow this modding series, you really need to enable file name extensions and hidden items. It will cause a lot less confusion and you should always have it even for general computer use. To enable these two, just go to File Explorer, click View at the top, and then check the two boxes on the side. One thing you'll need is scripthook.net. Simply download the latest version and drag and drop the scripthook.net.asi file into your directory and then make a scripts folder. Just make sure the folder is only called scripts. To test it, you can either head in game and press the Tilde key, which is this key, but if you can't use that for some reason or you want to test an actual mod, then we'll test a mod called Less Overtaking. It basically makes it so the NPCs won't drive past you when you're sitting in a car for like a second or so. Simply download the mod and put the lessovertake.net.dll file into the scripts folder you made earlier. Whenever you're given a .net.dll file, you want to put it into the scripts folder. If it has a .ini or a .dat file with it or a folder with it, then put it in there as well. You can also install your .asi mods here if you want. Most people just put it in their main directory, but you can do whatever. Personally, I would prefer putting the .asi mods in it here so you know which mods are essential and which are just something you added. By essentials, I basically mean anything that came with the downgrader. Another thing you should use is the Lucas Trainer. Some people would use Simple Native Trainer to test or use their mods, but you should use the Lucas Trainer instead. It has the same features and hotkeys as Simple Native Trainer, but it has way more features. Tons of customization just inside a .ini file also. You can even make custom hotkeys. I made a guide on it. There's a card at the right top for that. All you gotta do is download it and then drag and drop the zmenu iv.asi and .i9 files into your scripts folder or the main directory. In game, just press F7 to open it and numpad to navigate. I plan on making a full review of this menu at some point, but it's constantly updated so the video will just get outdated in like a week or two, which is another reason why this menu is way better than Simple Native. For anything model, sound, or texture related, you'll have to use OpenIV. Just a quick note that if any readme or anyone says to use SparkIV, just ignore their advice and use OpenIV instead. SparkIV is basically OpenIV but worse and with a local install. So just go ahead and download OpenIV and go through the install and once that's done, run the file and we'll set up some quality of life settings, mostly to save your time. Run the program and then select Grantha.iv and head to your directory and then click select folder. If you selected the wrong directory or you want to change it in the future, you can do that by heading to tools, options, game, and then click change directory. After that, you'll have to restart the program for it to take effect. Now we'll do some of the quality of life settings. Head to tools, options, and then change the default game to Grantha.iv iv and uncheck the top box after that change the default work mode to edit mode so you don't have to go to edit mode each time you open up the program also if you're going to mess with textures change the default texture file format to png and also do it for open formats tab and now you're done for a quick guide on how to use open iv we'll install the improved animations pack mod there'll be a link in the description to follow along now before you do this you have to make a backup backups are one of the most crucial things for gtiv modding so all you got to do is copy and paste your directory somewhere safe and obviously not in the same spot as your current directory. It will take a while, but make sure to never modify this, and I would recommend just making a backup after you downgrade so you don't have to downgrade each time. If you want to know more about this mod, then I made a video on it. Check the readme for locations on where to install the files and any additional notes, like this DLC one for example. So what we'll do is we'll extract some of the files somewhere and then we'll put them in a location that the readme sets. In this situation, the .wad files would go into PC, anim, anim.img, so we'll head there with OpenIV and then drag and drop the .wad files into there. If you don't know why we use OpenIV, the reason is because normally File Explorer can't open these types of files, at least with GTIV specifically. After that, you'll want to install the weapon info.xml file. You don't have to do this part in OpenIV. I don't, I just use File Explorer, but it's up to you. So just head to common data with either of those programs and then drag and drop the weapon info.xml file, replacing if you're asked to. To test this mod, just go in game, give yourself an assault rifle, and then reload with it. If it's like this, then you did it right.